Hello there, children. And gentlemen, I bring you some horrific news. The worst thing I did not want to bring you. The lifelong sensation, Peanuts the Squirrel. Someone who obviously I had heard of before he died and I was a big fan. So don't pretend I wasn't. I'm not fake. You know, making a video just to profit on his demise. Do not be so cynical, you piece of shit. But anyway, onto the serious topic. The owner of Peanut the Squirrel explains how New York officials raided his house, took Peanut and took his pet raccoon, which he rescued. Animal rescue. You know, that's his job or what he does. Seven-year-old Peanut, so he's even got an age, cute. And Fred the Raccoon, fantastic names. And I mean, they are just there. They, that's just some good name. Name skills there, my friend. Were euthanized from anonymous complaints. Now, this is in New York, so everyone's a dickhead. I mean, the Big Apple, more like the Big fucking ass apple yeah officers raided my house as if i was a drug dealer i was sat outside my house for five hours had the police escort me to my to the bathroom i wasn't even allowed to feed my rescue horses so this guy's just a good dude the police come the government these terrorists steal his raccoon like he's selling 10 kilos of crack out of his asshole to every jim and jally on the streets won't even let him have a wee all because he's got a squirrel and a raccoon chilling are you starting to see how this doesn't make any sense they interrogated his wife to check out her immigration status i mean my god she looks in pieces poor her and the um, raccoon as well and the raccoon as well um I, I i am so sorry i i this is this must be really difficult for you it not only tears my family apart but peanut was the cornerstone of our non-profit animal rescue <laughs> Now, this is horribly sad, but, like, not only does it tear our family apart, like, th they killed this squirrel, and they've ruined his family. Like, that's terrible. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Come on, you got to laugh a little. You're an ass! I mean, firstly, I, I truly believe vengeance is the only form of justice here. I think whoever euthanized that squirrel should have the same done to them. Let's get that straight. I'm not laughing because a squirrel is... He's dead. Like, that's horrible. And this poor man's pet has been taken from him by the government of all people. They have no right to do that. This is not... What, what's a country you can't speak your mind? I don't know. This is not somewhere in the Middle East where you can't breathe, think, or do without being called, you know, a criminal and get your hands cut off. This is the United States of America. The land of the free, as the song says. They stole the man's squirrel and killed it. What the fuck is that about? And 10 to 12 DEC officers raided my house as if I was a drug dealer. 10 to 12 officers. At my house for five hours. I had to get a police escort to my bathroom. 10 to 12 officers were required at this man's home because he had a pet squirrel. What in the fuck were they planning to find? This guy's not been exper experimenting on them like Dr. Doofenshmirtz trying to create a real life squirrel army. This is not a guy trying to evolve the squirrel into a 10 foot monster to take over the world. This is a man who takes in rescue animals trying to look after them. Like what the fuck? The government have overstepped their welcome here and serious question, you know, if they can take this man's squirrel, why can't they take other things? I know it's this, oh, it's a squirrel. It's the premise. You you know, someone makes a complaint, they can take it. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. They said that your uh, your speakers make too much noise, so we're taking your speakers. And they said that your dog barks too much, so we're going to take your dog. Uh, no, take my dog. See, that's... Uh, I am not... When I was younger, I was really anti-guns. But I think the one good thing about America, in a way, is, like, if the government ever did go fucking cuckoo, luku. Time to whip out the MP9s, baby. I wasn't even allowed to feed my rescue horses breakfast or lunch. So I was sit, sat there like a criminal. After they Has anyone seen, my uh, wife, completely off topic, has anyone seen um, Two Broke Girls? When she has the horse and she looks after the horse in New York. I haven't seen it. I had a friend who did like it and I watched it with them for a while. You're a fucking liar. Status. Then proceeded to ask me if I had cameras. Imagine that. I know I keep pausing it, I do apologise, I know some of you don't like it, but anyway, you know, this is over a squirrel. What's your legal immigration here? We got tens of million people crossing the border, but, you know, why the fuck are you here? Oh, you're here to look after squirrels and make them have a better life? Yeah, that's not okay, dude. ...was in my house, then proceeded to go through every cabinet, nook and cranny of my house for a squirrel and a raccoon. They got a search warrant? They got a search warrant 
Four departments and a judge signed off on a search warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. That's crazy, isn't it? It takes people days, weeks, months to get a, a you know, a judge to sign off a warrant to maybe, I don't know, search a potential terrorist's house, search a maybe a rapist, a murderous home. But when it comes to a raccoon or a squirrel, bro, no worry. I got this one pre-made. Bang. They've done this before. And then they took them and killed them. Why did they go through all that to get a search warrant for an animal that had been with you very safely and the world witnessed this for seven years, why now suddenly did they show up with their search warrant and, and take these animals? We haven't a clue. We don't know who made the, com uh, the, the complaints. Again, Peanut was an uh, indoor squirrel not harming anybody. He's been with us for seven years. Not a single complaint was ever filed for this animal. We had him for seven and a half years. He became the world's most famous squirrel. We weren't hiding him <laughs> by any means. And I present to you the world's famous squirrel. Peanut, do something. Do something. Look, this is horribly sad. This is terrible. Uh, 10 to 12 police officers, a judge, everyone involved on a squirrel and a raccoon, living peacefully with this family, making them happy. It's a disgrace. It's a joke. I am disgusted by the US government. There has to be some serious questions asked, but also some serious repercussions. If this was, you know, I just say, I've said this before, but if Twitter didn't exist, would we know about this? I strongly feel we would not. Now, just to show you what what we've, what we've, we're missing out on, rest in peace, Peanut, mate. You were a legend. And um, when I made jokes, like, I do feel horrible. This guy deserves to be happy. Like, look at them all. They get on so well. He's doing nothing. They're enjoying their life. They're getting on so well. He, he listens to him. He feeds them. You know, who's complaining about this? Oh, uh, what is there to complain about? He's an indoor squirrel. Man, man's big as well. Look at them biceps. God damn, man. He's breaking the packaging. What a cute little thing. That's what was taken away from us. We must uprise. We must fight back and take back what was ours. Calling all squirrels. Unite at that big park in New York City. We will get revenge. I can't remember what it's called, but I've been there in Spider-Man, so it's like I've been there in real life. Why is the Democratic Party so mean? So blue states seem to care more about euthanizing and squirrels than arresting burglars and drug dealers. This is a genuine comment. Good. Squirrels did about 5,000 worth of property damage to my house by chewing through some pipes. Blue states are focused on the true menace. It could be fake. It could be a joke. You never know on the internet these days, but that, that has got to be the most outlandish statement ever. I mean, does he use that exact ideology about life? You know, as soon as one white person, you know, calls him fat, he's like, I hate white people. No, kill them all. You know what I mean? Some squirrels did some damage. So now what? He's going to, he's going to genocide all squirrels. His mission in life is to kill every squirrel around. You're off your tits, son. The internet, after hearing about what the peanut, the squirrel, that is literally me. I'm locking my Glock 19, Glock 17, whatever a Glock is. I got my RPG loaded and ready. It's in the back. We're about to do some damage, dog. President Trump will save the squirrels. Oh, it is sad, isn't it? This poor little friendly squirrel, seven years old, lived there for seven years. Euthanized, taken by the disgusting people we call government. Not causing any damage, not causing anyone harm. And there's real people out there, real criminals getting away with it. And they spoke, chosen to spend money, time, police time on euthanizing a squirrel and a raccoon that has been rescued by these two lovely people. I mean, rest in peace to uh, to his lovely animals. Let's hope they don't kill the horses next just to make sort of a, a joke, make a statement. I hope these two people are OK and they can get on with their lives. Uh, I not don't mean that sarcastically as you could see from the videos they were very traumatized and distraught by this and yeah i think it's it would be you know a sign for me to get the fuck out of new york city personally anyway thank you guys and let's let's hope there's some happier stories to come